Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some problems regarding the control system. Here, the problem is open loop transfer function of DC motor is given 10 by 1 plus 10 S. So, he is given the open loop transfer function. Just write it 10 by 1 plus 10 S here. When connected in a feedback system shown, feedback shown, the approximate value of the Ka that will reduce the tau. So, if we connected Ka in the system, for the system, if it closed loop transfer function. So, what is the closed loop transfer function? So, this is the separate open loop transfer function. The closed loop transfer function we can write in given that is Ka 10 by 1 plus 10 s 10 k 10 k okay so this is the closed loop transfer function he mentioned the tau of closed loop system by 100 times as compared with the open loop transfer function so from this open loop transfer function uh, tau value so just compare with compare with open loop transfer function general open loop transfer function is k by 1 plus tau 1 yes so comparing this here k but what is our requirement time constant so from this i can write tau of open loop transfer function is open loop transfer function tau is here 10 and from this we can write we should find out closed loop transfer function so this is 10 ka by and so we we do we require s value generally we require the s value so from this we need to write we need to write in this form 1 plus tau into s from so for that purpose i am common the 1 plus 10 k 1 plus 10 k so i will common all these terms 1 plus 10 k then this is the 1 and the remaining part is 10 by 1 plus 10 k a into s so why am why i am doing like this i need to write the transfer function in the form of this k by 1 plus tau into s so from this we can write from this we can write this is the transfer function 2 the closed loop transfer function here is we can write this is the tau 2 closed loop transfer function tau value equal to 10 by 1 plus 10 into k 1 plus 10 into k so this is the closed loop transfer function so how we can i will compare with the k by 1 plus tau 2 into yes yes in this tau 2 value is this tau 2 is nothing but closed loop transfer function yes now given that condition the closed loop system the tau of closed loop system 100 times that will reduce the tau of closed loop system so so time constant of the one open loop i will take one and tau two is closed loop and reduce it by 100 okay not not sorry reverse the closed loop time constant is open loop term time reduces 100 times so i will write like this here you know closed loop time constant value is this so write this value 10 by 1 plus 10 into k equal and what is open loop transfer function here open loop transfer function equal 10 so write 10 by 100 10 1 times 10 10 times okay so from this we can write cross doing cross multiplication 10 into 10 will be equal to 1 plus 10 into k so 10 into 10 will give the 100 by 1 plus 10 k okay so here 10 k a equal to 99 from this we can write k a equal to 
99 by 10. So we will find out the Ka value equal to 9.9. .9. So this is the Ka value. So, so approximately we can take it as Ka value is the 10. Okay. So here, if you observe here, open loop transfer function is time constant is 10 but the closed loop transfer function open loop transfer function so if you observe the problem we will understand one concept that is tau that means time constant open loop transfer function is very high compared with the closed loop transfer function that's why closed loop transfer function is preferred okay tau is nothing but time constant don't forget this time constant so this is also an important concept okay so this is the procedure to find out the time constant in this problem whenever he is asking the time constant just make the system with this form that is k dc gain by 1 plus time constant into s from this we will get the we will reduce the into time constant form and the next problem next problem is here set 1 is transfer functions set 2 is step responses so these are the transfer function these are these are the outputs okay and e given each and every transfer function this is directly given closed loop transfer functions this is the p and q r and s so here from this we can write we have the transfer function is the first is the 25 by just okay s square plus 25 from this what is the value of the zeta zeta value is 0 whenever zeta value is 0 it has uh, oscillation continuous oscillation which has a continuous oscillation this is not this is not this is a continuous oscillation so p is gives the 3 and second q equal q value is so we will go for the second q value is 36 by s square plus 20s plus 36 from this we will write the characteristic equation the characteristic equation equal s square plus 20s plus 36 just compare with this characteristic equation compare with this this equation this is s square plus 2 zeta omega n plus omega n square so i will write in the form of 6 square equal to 0 and this is s square plus 2 into here 6 is there into s is there 12 is there and 12 12 into we have we will write the zeta value is the 1.66 look at here 2 into 16 2 into 6 12 12 into 1.66 we will get the 20 so from this omega n equal to 6 zeta value equal to 1.66 so which is greater than 0 which is greater than 0 greater than 0 means uh, which is greater than 1 so this is whenever zeta is greater than 1 then the system is called as over damped system system is named as the over damped system so which is over damped system in the diagram in this diagram this is it will take more settling time compared with these two this is the over damped system that's why q is the 4 q is the 4 the next transfer function is equal the next transfer function r r value is 36 by s square plus 12s plus 36 so for this compare the characteristic equation we can write s square plus 36 we can write the 6 square and 2 into so 2 into 
we will write the zeta value is yeah 1 into 6 plus s plus 6 square so 6 must be omega n and this is the 1 here the zeta value equal to 1 whenever the zeta value is 1 it is known as the critically damped system critically damped system so look at the diagram which is the critically damped system so this is the critically damped system so then the q r value is the 1 and last what is s and here s value is the given system s value is so remaining is only one that is two otherwise you you should compare with the system then the s system is under damped system if you did this you will get the zeta value for the system is less than more than 0 and less than 1 less than 1 okay I hope all of you understand this session and about how to compare when the transfer function is given and how to do the time constant problems is given okay I hope all of you understand the session thank you